Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be painting an orange color shifting perch with the new pigments from Lurblanks and we're starting right now. <laughs> First of all, let's talk a little bit about this pigment. This pigment changes to a different color when it's in the water, depending on the water temperatures. So, will a lure painted with this pigment catch more fish than another lure? No. But is it fun? Yeah, absolutely. It's really fun, it's really cool, and we're gonna do some really cool stuff with it in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna do a simple pattern, I'm gonna show you how this pigment works. And I'm also going to show the result. Alright guys, so how does this work? I got my um, base coated lure here. This is a 10 centimeter slider. I just did a white base coat on this. So the only thing we need now is 4030 balancing clear. This is the only thing we're going to mix with the pigment. And it's very important to know, don't add any kind of reducer. Because the reducer will react with the pigment and you will lose adhesion. So it's super important to only use 4030. You can also use another clear medium, um, like 4050 also works, or the transparent base from either Vallejo, Createx. All those kind of transparent mediums, they work, but do not add any reducer in any way, because any kind of reducer, any solvent-based uh, paint will react with the pigment. So we take our 4030, Shake it well. So, you take a little bit of your uh, pigment. You just you don't need much. It's less is more in this case. So those little bags they will last you a very long time. So you take just a little bit of pigment. You put it in there, and now you mix it very well. So make sure you mix that well and you don't have any clogs left. I still see some. So just keep on stirring. So and when it's mixed. Do a little back flush. Right, so we got our 4030 mixed with our pigment. With no reducer. So that means you need a very high air pressure to shoot this. Um, I am shooting this at about yeah, 50 psi or something. So don't be afraid to use super high air pressure. It's just going to make it easier for you to spray this on. And now we're just going to do the lower side. And as you can see, it already turns a little bit orange. That's because of the cold air. Just let this dry for a second. Right, different color, same procedure, 40-30, and just a tiny bit of pigment. Now I simply got some opaque black in my chamber, I'm gonna darken the back a little. Right, now I got some detailed black magenta in my chamber, and I just want to do some subtle striping on there. And we're also gonna darken a little bit behind the gill plate. Alright, let's put the eyes in. These are just the regular eyes that come with the blank. They're gonna fit perfectly on here. So, let's get some clear coat on this lure. Alright guys, the lure is finished. This is how it looks before it goes into the water. And it looks like a very faded but natural perch. Really nice actually, I really like how the yellow turned like a, like a pastel yellow, which is really nice. But now we're gonna put it in the water. I'm gonna drop the entire lure. Just let it sit for a few minutes. So guys, there we go. Now we have this orange red perch, which is really cool just changes color and as you can see it reacts with the temperature and you can also use it with soft plastics 
this part is being cooled down and as you can see it's a nice dark blue the warmer part is green and the pigment gives a little bit of uh, an opaque effect so it's not really transparent but uh, yeah the effect is really cool you can warm this up again and then it will become green again that is super cool now if you want this to be more vibrant then you just need to layer a few more layers of paint then uh, the pigment will be more dense and then the color will be more vibrant but uh, I like it to do this kind of uh, a faded look to this perch which turned out really nice actually I really like it it's really nice and subtle it is important when you are layering your layers that you take your time so just take your time with this give it enough time to dry before laying on the next couple of layers make sure you go check out that pigment on lureblanks.eu and if you have any great idea what we should paint with these pigments let me know in the comments down below i hope you enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching and have a nice day bye bye